I want to be like a top figure in this, this sport. If it doesn't happen next year that I go to MotoGP, if it's another year or even if it's, I never go, it's life is about making these decisions and, and enjoying the current moment you're at. So I think that's the, the best way to follow things in life. When I leave the box for the first time, I think the thing that, the emotions I feel, it's when I start, let go of the clutch, and I start the bike and I rev it, just kind of reminds me how sick this job is, how sick this world is. This bike is just, uh, I don't know, this sounds so cool. It just reminds me of all the times I was a kid starting a bike and going out for a ride. It kind of all hits me at that time, and I love that feeling. It's what I live for. You want to leave the car there or you want to... That's my team manager. Oh, really? Yeah, he, we have like the Italtrans team car. Oh. He went and filled it up with some gas. But we're going to go surf right now. Apparently the waves are super good. Yo, legend. Yo, should we meet at the cliff over there? You want to go ride the best, we'll meet at the cliff. Better, right? Because right? we'll just jump off from yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go surf. I've been surfing like on and off for like four years or something. Yeah. Maybe more, but I'm not really that great at surfing. I, I love it. I just love the, like everyone here is just it, the lifestyle is really chill about it. So oh. done. All right, let's hit it. Yeah, man, this place is so chill. I'm yeah. from from LA. Yeah, from California. Um, so I'm like, yeah, born and raised there. So how different is living here to California? I mean, climate, I guess, is similar. It's kind of like similar temperature. Um, I don't know, it's different. California, LA, LA is great. I love LA, but some fake people there. So here it's, it's real, you know? Yeah. Damn, kind of flat, man. Nah, it's a little rare, look at the left. I, I hope it's bigger in, in, in the water than up here. <laughs> Yeah, I actually moved here because my team manager was like, had lived here five years ago. I used to live in Barcelona, and Barcelona is a sick city, but I don't know, I need to get away, man. Yeah. I need some, I mean, you just look out here and it's just like incredible. You have the beach, everything. Some peace, quiet, after crazy races. What do you think, we can jump from here or no? Yeah. Yeah? See me cooking out. What do you think, Tino? Cooking out today? <laughs> it's just nice to be here and just kind of get away. Like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of just like a paradise here. So fun. Dude, I have like nose, like I got pounded so hard sometimes, my nose is just like oozing out water. You had a couple of good uh... Dude, I had a couple of that are just like fucking <laughs> just smash me down. Here you're just always outside doing stuff. You know I'm always active, I'm either running or riding enduro or surfing. It's it's just every day doing something. It's kind of nice, you know? Thanks, pants. <laughs> yeah, I left, I left all my gear in, uh, in LA on accident, so it hooked me up with some stuff. Getting up to a little bit of enduro. Try to get a little bit of training in before this weekend. Take it easy, nothing too crazy. 
but yeah, just having a bit of fun. I haven't ridden enduro for a while. I think it's good to go. All right, should we go rip it? I've always wanted to ride like on the beach. I watched, I grew up racing or watching this movie on any Sunday it was the movie that got me into maybe want to be a motorcycle rider. I mean, anybody watching this who's seen the movie knows it's like such a famous scene, but it's like Steve McQueen, Malcolm Smith, Mert Lawwell all sliding on the beach in uh, Camp Pendleton, I think, down in California. And that's like the most, yeah, most inspiring scene for me. That was sick, man. That was like, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Dude, thank you so much. You're welcome. That, that was, was fun. Fun. That's the backyard, huh? That's the backyard. It's got what we got just here. Crazy. I don't think I'll ever go back to California. No. What's the need? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Do I like Jerez as a circuit? Jerez is never that track that I go to and I'm like, there's some tracks that I'm like sick, I can't wait to show up here. I'm kind of changing it this year, like trying to be positive about every circuit, but this isn't one of those tracks that I was always like super stoked to come to. But I don't know, I, I, feel, I feel good about this weekend. My style I feel like is always quite like flowing and, and I'm not like super aggressive on the bike. So I guess I always tend to, to gravitate towards more like flowing tracks. So like Bruno, Bruno is one of those tracks that just like kind of flows. Yeah, this weekend I'm actually trying to like, there's a sec section, sector one has always been a troubling sector for me. I'm trying to just like love sector one, everything about it. Gracias. Si. In Spain you just say si, gracias. That's all you do and they just, you get a lot of places with C and grasses. I got some new suits. Gonna get them fitted. Trying to work on the aerodynamics a bit. When I arrive in the paddock, it's always kind of a, there's an excitement that takes over me, like something like, oh, there's an opportunity this weekend. You know, there's something I can do here. What up, Hopper? All good, man? Yeah, good. Yeah? So yeah, I would say I definitely enjoy showing up to the track. Um, and if it's a track that I really love, I feel extra excited. <laughs> Ciao. Hi, Joe. What's up? Oh. This is the new one? New one? <gasps> oh, man. It's everything new here. Definitely seems like the knee is on a better spot. Because we want to make it as, as slim as possible, you know? Little extra things that are maybe poking out in the wind, just slow you down that little extra. Yeah, it's like aerodynamics is all you really have when you're really tall. Cause you're like, when you get out of the corner, you're a little heavier. So it's a little slower for you to get out of the corner compared to the smaller guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Let's go inside. Going for a little track walk, track, track familiarization. I'm definitely my own biggest critic, and I think that's something that Robertino and the team has helped me out a lot with. Uh, I'm a little bit crazy. I think a little bit too much about everything. But I think that's also good in some ways because you kind of look to all the details and you become kind of a perfectionist in some ways. Even though I may seem a little bit chilled out and easygoing, I'm a little, it's a different inside. My thing here is I always break I always, this corner always sucks me in too much and I break too late and then I think with the, you have not. When I check the data, I always open not enough here, like early enough. You know, it's like I rush the corner and I don't open 
forever my worst sector my whole career here. Yeah, I've done it so many different ways, but when I watch all the onboard, everyone is just always the inside here. turning super well here and also the rear is spinning like crazy hey good huh yeah. fucking on it <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my little box. This is my this is my little yeah my box. Ah, oh, it's a good day actually. I really sucked here last year, so it's nice to it's nice to come back and like be inside the top five first day. And the pace is quite good too. Yeah, it's good, man. Do that, man. So your ideal? I did see my ideal. Yeah, man. <laughs> Get it down. <laughs> All good, man. You're looking good. Thanks, man. Who's Robert Tino? Uh, well, I refer to him as Uncle Tino, and he kind of just looks after me. <laughs> uh, I need someone like him around. Uh, he's the best. I live with him, and not the traditional team manager. He's more than that. So I think of him like a, yeah, uncle or a brother. You remember at the start on the track walk, I said T1 was my worst sector, and then I had to like basically. I had to tell myself, I, what I said to the camera, I was like, T1 is like my worst sector. So now I'm just telling myself, I love T1. I love everything about it. I love this. And now I'm like third yeah, in that yeah. sector. Yeah, Robert has looked strong all day today, it has to be said. I know he was uh, outside the top six earlier, but throughout the session, he did look to have pretty good pace. And uh, considering that this was probably the nadir of his championship last year, came away from Jerez a pair of 17th places. You're always there. Top yeah. four, always there. Yeah. I mean, you haven't been 10th, you know, right? Yeah. Always there. Bum, 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 bum. That's good. In the past, I've put too much pressure on myself. Yeah, 100%. I think coming into the top level of, of motorcycle racing, it's very easy to fall into that too much pressure on yourself mentality. Um, something that this team has helped me out a lot with it's just obviously we have the capabilities to be at the front you know and the most relaxed i've been sometimes is the, the fastest i've been so um when you know that it's kind of like helps you just chill out welcome back to hereth inch closer now to moto 2 qualifying and here comes joe roberts uh, out of pit lane, we'll keep an eye on who profits then. He's oh. always been fast. Oh, Joe Roberts has had a fall now then. Roberts at the moment is eighth. He was on an improved lap. He was only a tenth down. He's frustrated. He was on a really good lap then. Welcome back to Jerez. The Grand Prix of Spain, the fourth race of the 2021 season. Lovely day here. Green flag waves. Lights out, and away we go. Brilliant start. Remy Gardner, it is, that got away pretty well. De Gian Antonio and Raul Fernandez also coming through into turn one. It will be Digia who takes the lead. Do here, oh, somebody's Bez. coming from way, way back. Somebody tagged the back of Sam Lowe's there. Fabio De Gian Antonio, he's making the early headway here in Jerez. He's almost half a second clear of Paul Man Gardner. Further uh, back behind uh, the duo that you're looking at at the moment, Joe Roberts is in eighth place. Then it's Marcos Ramirez, Canet 10th. Fabio de Gian Antonio, outstanding win.
Um, today's race, well, I wouldn't say I'm like particularly happy with today's race. For some reason on the first lap, I just had, yeah, I had no grip and then no grip for the rest of the race, so. But that's racing, sometimes that happens and if a bad day for us is eighth, I don't think it's too bad. Um, yeah, we're already, I think last year I finished 17th here out of the points, so it's a big step at this track that I was normally pretty shit at. <laughs>